And it's funny because I somebody said the same thing to me a few weeks ago, and I thought, what do you mean you don't know what around is? And the, and then the weird thing is, cause is it's not around; it's a line. Most cases, the bluebird is around most of the time. But I'm playing on Tuesday on the stage because the show after us, the late show, is a is a band show, so we're sitting in the row. So it's actually four people side by side, usually, usually four people, and you go down the line, you play, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Most writers' nights are three song rounds, so you play three songs. Um, some writers' nights, but not many, let one person get up, play three songs, go off, get the next person up, play three songs, etc. Um, in the Commodore on the weekend, we do one hour rounds, so we have scheduled rounds with mostly four people, sometimes three people, and they just go for an hour and we just say, okay, you've got one song left. And they can often get four or five songs in, in an hour if, if they don't introduce, oh yeah, that's something else. Don't spend forever introducing the song. If you have to say, now this is a song about, and I wrote it because, and this is what happens, and the guy meets the girl, and the guy wins the girl, the guy loses the girl, da 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 da. And then you sing the song, there's no need to sing the song. We do not need to see the trailer before the movie. Just show us the movie. Just sing us a song. So I, I have this thing, I always credit my co-writer. If I don't credit co-writer, I wrote it on my own. Because I heard hit songs that, that I thought, wow. And it was like four or five times after I heard somebody else sing it and thought, oh, there's a co-writer. And Nashville can be bad at that. People can be bad here for not crediting co-writers. But you don't have the song without that co-writer. So I, I credit my co-writer. So I'll say, I wrote this song with, and just go in the song. Um, and I think that's a, a, a mistake. Or so that's something that novice writers do, or n not novice writers, but people who are new to playing out. They think they have to do the whole story about how the song came about. And If you've got a funny story, that's great. Because people like to be entertained. And I, I like to go to a show. I'd rather see people play four songs instead of five songs each, but tell me some funny stories and make me laugh and, and make me be entertained, maybe make me cry, whatever. Um, but not just, I wrote this song last week because I was driving down my car and so on. So, but basically, yeah, get up, credit your songwriter, co-writer, sing the song. Don't explain the whole story, because I want to I wanna hear it so that I can go, ah, oh, at the defining moment in the song. But if you've already told me what it's about, it's like, nah, don't need to listen. So, and it's hard at writers' nights because people have heard so many, and there's there's not that that many rooms where people will sit quietly and listen to every song. People do quite often will sit and chat. They keep a respectful noise level down. They're still listening, and if they hear a song or a voice that really makes them go, "Who's that?" Then they listen, and that's our job as writers to write a song that people go, oh my God, that made me cry. And not just because I was singing it. Um, so I think that's, that's just let the song speak.